Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the TCX Infinity 3 Gore-Tex boots. These new for 2022 touring boots from TCX bring something different, not least in terms of the styling and also the way they fasten up. They're the Infinity 3 Gore-Tex boots and they move away from the norm when it comes to looks, which I'm sure will divide opinion. It's more the sort of look that I'd expect from an edgy brand, more like Icon rather than TCX, but I really like that they've gone in a different direction rather than just giving us another slight tweak on the same old, same old that you normally get. They're made from a synthetic leather main upper with loads of genuine suede overlays, a Gore-Tex membrane to keep your feet dry, and there's also a fly reel fastener. And they're £299.99 a pair as we make this video. So let's run through the essentials. Starting at the bottom with the sole, it's TCX's ground track sole, which is a series of chunky grooves and lugs to give you good grip on loose surfaces. It gives good feedback on the bike's pegs in my experience, and it's also comfortable when you're walking around. The main part of the upper is this smooth microfiber material with these studs for decoration just here near the housings for the cable that does the fastening. There's a tough textile material just here where the two main parts of the upper overlap and you get the same material just above the heel to give extra flexibility in that area. Then there's suede all the way around the base of the boot and again up the inner surface just here for good grip against your bike. This suede also acts as the gear change protection as there's no plastic reinforcement in this area to do that job. I wore these boots when riding my Yamaha FZ1 Phaser, which actually has quite a heavy gear change. It wasn't uncomfortable to shift gear in these boots, so there's no problem in that sense with having a lack of hard reinforcement here. But one day of riding has marked the suede slightly, so it'll be interesting to see how they wear in the longer term. There are plastic support cups for the toes and the heels, and there's also one to cover the inside of the ankle just there. There's a plastic wrap then that comes around the shin, and fastens to this suede section that continues around the back of the boot. There's a gap between the suede wrap and the main upper on the calf, and I found this got hooked on my bike's heel plate a couple of times when I was wearing these boots. It wasn't a particular problem, but it's something to look out for if you do buy a pair of these boots, I think. Once you've fastened up this plastic wrap, you're onto the fly reel closure. This isn't the BOA system that became famous on ski boots before moving over into motorcycling, but it is a similar method. Turning the dial in one direction tensions the wire cable that pulls the boot tight onto your foot and then turning it back in the other direction releases it so you can take the boot off. There's a warning attached to these boots when you buy them brand new to say do not pull the dial to release. That's how BOA works. So these people are quite keen to avoid you doing that. I decided not to try and find out what would happen if I pulled it. The system's neat enough and it does allow fine tuning of the fit, which is a really good thing. But the direction of travel for the dials is a little bit counterintuitive in my opinion. On the right boot, you turn the dial away from your heel to tighten it and then back towards your heel to release it. But on the left boot, it's the other way around. That seems a bit odd to me, but it doesn't take a lot of figuring out once you have a go at it. So once we're inside the boot, you can see there's Gore-Tex weather protection in here. Gore-Tex is pretty widely accepted as the best waterproof membrane there is, as much for its superior breathability as for its effectiveness at keeping you dry. The label here also tells us a bit more about the performance of these boots in the CE safety tests. So these boots get a pass to the higher level two in the height category. I'd say that one's pretty obvious as anything that's ankle high or above can get level two. They also meet level two in all three compulsory technical tests. That's resistance to abrasion, to cuts, and also squashing from lateral forces like you'd get if your bike landed on your upturned foot like this. There are also WR and WAD marks, which shows that these boots have passed the test to show they're waterproof and also that they won't soak up loads of water. Not every boot with a waterproof membrane has that test mark on it. So it's a voluntary test and it's a credit to TCX for getting their test done to prove that their kit actually does what they say it does. Also on the inside, there's a soft and squishy Ortholite insole that helps with walking comfort, and it's also removable. So if it goes flat over time, or you just want a bit of extra support, you can whip that out and put a new one in there. Before I wrap up, I'll just cover sizing. The TCX Infinity 3 Gore-Tex boots come in Euro sizes 38 to 48. That translates to four and a half up to 12 and a half here in the UK. And if you like this boot, but you don't want all of this height, there's also a mid-length version available, and I'll put a link to the product listing for those boots in the description for this video. 
So as I said earlier, I spent a day out and about in these boots and I found them really comfortable and supportive. I found the sizing to be regular too. I wore a 43, which is just as I do in pretty much every other boot, and they fitted me very, very well. I didn't get to test the waterproofing, but I've had enough Gore-Tex boots over the years to trust in that protection. And if any Gore-Tex boots ever do start to leak, there's the Gore guarantee to cover you on that. The styling, as I said earlier, it's not going to suit everyone, but I think it's great that TCX are trying to get ahead of the game and do something different rather than just stick into the tried and trusted designs. And who knows, in five years' time, we might be looking at these as the start of a new generation of design of touring boots. One other thing I did find when I wore these boots is they give you a noticeable increase in height. If this was an advert in a Sunday supplement, I'd be telling you that you can gain an extra inch and a half when you're wearing these boots. And for some of us, that's just not to be sniffed at. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the TCX Infinity 3 Gore-Tex boots. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.